Hello and welcome back to the colony with Man of the Ants. We are back in the outer wild. It's been a little while. We're going to return to Brittle Hollow. I'm all pumped. I'm ready to go. I'm full of salmon and couscous and jelly babies. Not part of the same meal, I should add there. They, they would, salmon and couscous, one thing. Jelly babies, completely separate. Weird, otherwise. It couldn't Salmon and jelly babies, no. Anyway, so we're going to go back to Brittle Hollow. We're a little bit uh, off centre. We shall... Step forward a bit and just make sure we have some room. We do. Excellent. Uh, we are going to interact with the loading screen. We are going to blast off. And then once we're up, we shall find Brittle Hollow. So we went to Brittle Hollow last time. We discovered a few things. We fell into the black hole a couple of times. Of course we did. Of course we did. We learned a little bit about Brittle Hollow's moon. We also learned a bit more about the Ember Twins as well. Right on cue, there they are. I don't know exactly what we learned about the Ember Twins now, if I'm being perfectly honest, but we did go there and we did learn something about them. So there's Bristle Hollow right there, look. Right on cue. How perfect is that? So we are still trying to get into the observatory, which is on the South Pole, which we can see just on the bottom left there. That is the observatory. I don't know what that is we're heading right towards. Uh, one of these situations where I've obviously just forgotten almost everything that we uh, learnt previously. I'm assuming we've been there, because that seems like somewhere that... Oh, yes, I, I recognise it now. Of course, they do. that's with the stone, which we tried to land on last time. So we've been to the South Pole. We've we've explored that ship and everything. But that uh, we can't get into the observatory there. You get into the observatory through the equator somewhere wherever that happens to be. Have we? How do I, I can't remember how I rotate now. It doesn't really matter too much, I suppose. Just trying to figure out, I think that might be where you come in. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we've been there. The gravity's just taken us, so it's gonna sort out our orientation a little bit. And I'm pretty sure we've been there. There is a fire down there though. So have we been there? I can't quite see where the fire... I think I have, yes, because it's not actually a populated fire, is it? It's just there as like the remnants of a campsite. That's ringing a bell now. That's ringing a bell. So I'm not sure exactly what it is we're looking for. Probably an, a sensible entrance into the centre, I would have thought. What is this over here that we can see? Oh, that's the moving stone again, isn't it? Yes, we're getting ourselves all turned around. It's the thing with these planets, they're, they're so much crammed into these tiny spaces that it's quite easy to get yourself a little confused as to where you've been. So we're just looking for something... We don't really know what yet. We're just going to fly around and see if we can see anything interesting. So there's the South Pole again. So we want to move away from the South Pole, really. Right. Hold up. What's that? What is that? Now that looks like... Yeah, because that's where I think you come out when you come out of the White Hole. Or Black Hole, whatever it is they want to refer to it as. Now this looks like the place that I found sort of by accident. I mean that bit doesn't, but certainly the wooden stairs, yeah, definitely, definitely have a familiar feeling to them. So I've lost the ability to rotate my ship again, so we're just going to try and land somewhere that looks sensible. Maybe up here? I don't know if we to get up there otherwise. So let's see if we can land up here amongst these trees. We're just going to gently, gently bring in. We keep an eye on the camera to try and make sure we are over some ground. I don't think we're going to get through those trees very easily. And of course I can't rotate, can I? Which is... Uh, a little bit frustrating. So maybe... Maybe we'll just put ourselves down... There. And we'll pop outside and we'll see what... If we can get up to there from here. We'll see what this building is in general, I suppose. Oh, and perfect. Night time is here. Excellent.
Ooh, almost. There we go. And a little bit of extra upwards velocity from the jump adds a huge amount to that jetpack. So what is all of this? We have this thing. What is this thing? It looks like it's got text on it. Oh, I'm trying. I'm trying. There we go. Is everyone unharmed? How do you scroll through? Oh, there we go. No one was badly injured from the escape pod's impact. Is that the escape pod? Well, that's the escape pod from the from the, the thing which they f blew up. We're incredibly fortunate. This is good news, at least. Have we heard from escape pod 2 or 3? No, I, I'm unable to make contact. My equipment can hear the other two escape pods' distress signals, however. If it's any comfort, both pods must be structurally intact. I'll continue calling for them. My gratitude. If we can thatch, the moon is approaching again. Everyone brace yourselves swiftly. The volcanic moon... Oh, of course, there was a hidden moon. That's what we've learned. It's back to me. Okay, carry on. Be cautious of fallen ash and debris. I believe the moon has passed. This planet doesn't appear eager to have guests. We are certainly unwelcome on its surface. We need to find shelter and quickly. The volcanic moon won't be gone for long. I observed several promising sites below the surface, but we'll need to construct a way for everyone to climb safely down this cliff. Perhaps we could build platforms. Which are the platforms we used to get down and which we ultimately slightly failed and fell into the... Uh into the center of the planet again. Well, that's just a meteor coming down there, was it? I wondered what that uh, bit of fire over there was. So what is what is this? Can we do anything with this? What happens if we stand in this? Nothing, but it's, it's there, just so we know. And it's somehow connected to this ship. I don't think we're going to quite make it up there from there. <gasps> no, 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 no. Oh, I pressed the wrong button, 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 I pressed the wrong button. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, we're in trouble. Oh. Quite frankly, bugger. But our ship is now on that spot. So if we just head towards our ship, we'll be able to find it nice and easy. Oh, I can't believe I did that straight away. I was really, really hoping that we'd be able to do this without, um, without having to visit this station again, to be honest. But needs must, needs must. So we're going to go in up here, is it? Yes. We're going to very gently make our way inside. Very gently. We're going to do that. It's going to spin us around. And then... Oh. Uh, so what did we need to do? We just stand... We just stand here. Is that it? Do we have to align it first? I can't quite remember. I guess we'll go and, uh... Was there something we had to do? Oh yeah, of course we had to turn it on, didn't we have to do this? Which starts it rotating. And then we just need to go and stand on this. Until it aligns with Brittle Hollow and... Pings us over to the surface. And then we look for our ship marker. Where is it? Has it disappeared? Does it disappear after a certain amount of time? Oh, blast! Well, in that case, I guess we just run and hope we come across it? <sighs> I have a feeling it was sort of in that direction. I'm not entirely sure what that feels. Just, just, the way, just the way I had to fly after the ship, which I think we're kind of heading north-ish. Look, I'm trying to read that compass down there, but it's slightly out of focus for me. So, I mean, it was a huge crashed escape pod. It shouldn't be that hard to find. Oh, there's my ship. Okay, so you just don't see the marker until you're close, even though you could see it from the the teleport station, which was like 14 kilometers away. Okay, so if we can get to our ship. 
We will jump inside the ship. There it is. I mean, how would you miss that? Jump inside the ship to refill our oxygen and our jetpack. If we can, I suppose. If we can. We will be keenly aware of the fact that the sun is about to explode at some point soon. Yes, yeah, so as I was saying, as I was reading the Numai text, the uh, there is a second moon to Brittle Hollow. Isn't I keep pressing that to try and run, forgetting there isn't a run, and it just brings up the solar system menu. Yes, there is a second moon, a hidden moon, which I believe is going to be made of the same material as the mysterious Black Pillar. And the moon just kind of pops in and out of existence, essentially, or it depends whether you're looking at the right place at the right time. I don't really know. Uh, we'll have to read up a bit on it, I suspect, to try and figure out how to get to the moon. Well, I'm pretty happy we managed to make it back to our ship. That's pretty nice. So we shall refill everything, and then we will immediately... Why does it not refill our fuel? Do I have to put it back? Or do we only get a certain amount of fuel per... per life? No, there we go, it's now full again. Maybe it's just like a... Well, that is mightily, mightily close. It's gonna land up there. I don't think it did, but I'm gonna say that was pretty close. So I think we wanna head around this direction, but we just want to be a bit more careful as we are walking around. Put on a light on would maybe help. So, yes. Yes. So that is not going to get us into that ship, and I do want to get into that ship. I don't know whether... There'll be anything in there necessarily, but I do want to get in there. So perhaps we shall take our ship and see if we can land on top of it, maybe. Maybe that's the best thing to do. It's the first kind of Namai technology, really, we've come across. I know we've come across some very fancy things, but we haven't come across like an actual ship of theirs before. That is new and fancy. So we're going to try and perch it on this little ledge. Hopefully it's big enough. I mean, we're there. I don't think we're stable. Oh! Oh, ho, ho, ho. we are not stable, but we're there, which is the main thing. So that cable goes up there somewhere. These look like they would have been, like, stasis pods, maybe, or lifts or something. There are a lot of them. Yeah, it's an escape pod, isn't it? So, of course, there would be stasis pods. Yes, that makes complete sense. We have this contraption, which I'm assuming you can do something with. Alert collision imminent, preparing for impact. Oh, there's all sorts of things. Escape pod 1. Vessel has been mortally injured. Emergency sequence activ activated, awaiting departure from vessel. Escape pod, uh, pod 3, launch an escape pod 2, now launch an escape pod 1, collision imminent. Scan an external environment, scan complete, minor structural instability, minor structural instability. Pockets of breathable air detected, adequate solar energy, verdict hospitable. I mean, just outside the back of the ship, there is a hole into the centre of the planet, which appears to feature a black hole, so minor, minor, eh? Emergency escape hatch. Oh, where does this go then? Right into the black hole. Okay, so we're going to then try to follow... ...this. And not... ...die or not plummet into the abyss. But immediately we appear to have run out of stairs. So where do they go? So they constructed a route down. I mean, I'm stuck now as well, aren't I? Um, wow. 
Okay, so it heads here. Oh, that entire piece of the crust has just fallen. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Nope. I'm trying, I'm trying. We're trying to get somewhere other than the black hole. I'm, I'm using as much power as I can. We almost got somewhere which looked quite interesting. Well, there it is again. We've come through again, but we're higher this time. <gasps> oh, come on now. No, I think we're done. <laughs> oh my word, Brittle Hollow, you are a pain in the behind, aren't you? Oh, hold on. Wait one moment. That's... That's my ship? Let's not worry about that, because down there... That's a Namai escape pod. So is this... So this is Brittle Hollow. Because that's exactly the same escape pod. This is Brittle Hollow, but like, exploded. So this is Brittle Hollow in the future? Bang. Crash. Wallop. I do want to go in there again, because bear in mind we've just been there. We should be able to notice anything that's different, right? Namely on the right end would be very interesting. No, it's the same. So this is Brittle Hollow. I thought I just discovered one of the other escape pods. But actually, it's, it's, it's Brittle Hollow. I don't know, I don't know what to do with that information. I don't know if that's useful. I suppose we could try and make our way to the observatory from this version. I don't know how we would do that. So I'm making our way over to this thing now, which is where we were trying to land prior to our uh, untimely death. Oh, I forgot that there's no gravity. I was going to land on the stairs and run up the stairs, but that's obviously not going to work, is it? Um... Hmm... Ah, oh, we're out of fuel, which is going to make this very difficult. So there is some writing around... I don't know, I can't remember if I've been here before. I suppose if we try and translate that, if it's already translated, then we'll know if it's been, if we've been here before, right? No. Be welcomed in this place. Above you stands the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you are making your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon, ascend these stairs and obtain the lost knowledge needed for your journey. And that's it. That's it. Um... That's right in, right? Yeah. The crossroads. So we can turn this on. But I'm pretty sure it's just going to ping us into the middle of space, right? Or over towards this chunk, at least. Yeah. Um, I'm well aware that this is pretty much a lost cause. Because of our fuel situation. So we are over here. So over here. Over here, there is an exploded brittle hollow. 
way outside of its normal orbit as well. It's even got the little moon. Oh no, it's just chunks of the moon's um, meteorites, isn't it? Um, we're almost out of oxygen, so... We're about done. I'm assuming that anything that's like an interesting landmark that we might need to know about is going to be visible in this version, which is why I'm just sort of flying around almost aimlessly, it may seem. So I'm just trying to figure out what it is. Obviously, we want to look for that. I'm not sure if we've, well, obviously we hadn't. We hadn't, we hadn't deciphered that text before. I feel like we've been there before. Those two seem familiar. Okay, so that's the end of that. Like, we haven't blown up in the sun, though, so, you know. Small mercies and all that. I don't really feel like we've got far into discovering more about Brittle Hollow. Feels like we need a good chunk of time and better skills, I suppose, to be <laughs> slightly blunt. So, we pretty much know now that the escape pod doesn't really lead anywhere. It's an interesting landmark, but it doesn't lead anywhere. So the entrance to the observatory has to be underneath. So it's just fine, or inside, not underneath. Underneath is misleading. It's inside the planet. I cannot believe that the part of Brittle Hollow we were stood on with the with the escape pod literally fell into the core of the planet. I mean, what other game does that? That's Beyond insane. Beyond insane. Right, I think that's Brittle Hollow over to the right there. Yes, it is. So let's head over here. We shall mark it as a target. Target marked. Oh, we're sort of... Uh, is that the interloper over there? Because we're sort of in time with it. Well, it looks like a Namai thing, actually. Can't quite remember. It's a thing. It's... I know people probably get a little frustrated with... Uh, how bad, in air quotes, although you can't see the air quotes, I am at games, but it is a bit awkward when you only play the games and trying to match velocity. <laughs> when you play them like once a week or something for like half an hour, it is difficult to keep track sometimes of exactly where you are and what's going on. So I do apologize if I do seem like I am meandering around like an absolute buffoon. Um, so let's just go around the planet a bit. So there's that again which is right on the equator actually so that i feel like that is there's more to that that we haven't figured out yet it is bang on the equator that's the escape pod i don't think there's much else on the surface really is there so we could check out the North Pole. Have we been there? That's a piece of the um, cannon thing, isn't it? Which has blown off. Did we land down there once? Well, I think we did, didn't we? I think we managed to go down there and land. Maybe we'll do that again. Let's just have a little bit of a scout around. We'll try and get a bit higher again, because I think height really helps scout these plants. Being low just means you miss a lot, essentially. So that's the South Pole again. That's the fire that we're pretty sure was an empty campsite. So let's just go around here. If we just check out the North Pole, is the North Pole where the... Now, is that where we come in? Yeah, it is, isn't it? That's where we come in... When we come back from the White Hole. Okay. So that's on the North Pole. And then we're back at the... Uh, the Escape Pod again. Yeah, so those are all of the surface landmarks. I am pretty confident we have hit all of the surface landmarks there. I do wonder if more of that bridge exists up until the point where you essentially touch it or go near it. And then it starts falling apart. Maybe it's like even a timed thing. I also don't think we've really seen the second moon. I know they're supposed to be very mysterious, but you'd have thought maybe at some point in our travels we would have come across it. Right, so I'm going to land in the 
in this little space over here because there is a building there with a stairway down so maybe there's something interesting over here stand up stand up stand up thank you As I hit the button to leave, I thought to myself, do I have a space suit on? Wonderfully timed thought. Good job, me. Luckily, I did put it on first, otherwise we would have been in trouble. So just a quick scout around just to see if there's anything around these seats that are here. Don't think there is, but you never know with this game. You never know. Okay, awesome. Let's head inside of these ruins, which I believe will lead... Lead us down in the same sort of direction as... Oh, well, hello. If I can just press all the buttons apart from the one that I'm looking for, that would just be great, thanks. Have we been here before? Have we been here before? I don't... I think we have, haven't we? This is all looking a wee bit familiar. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe it's just familiar. Maybe there's this just a similar similar layout to another Namai house or something. So what does this say? I'm at the shuttle. I'm ready to make my first pilgrimage to the quantum moon. That's exciting. Good. You're almost ready, but there's still one more rule you need to learn. Come see me at the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Ah, so that's how we get to the other moon. The tower is on the opposite side of Brittle Hollow. If you follow the path west to the crossroads, which we did see on the broken version of Brittle Hollow, that was the one of the, the uh, like, teleporty device things? Shoot, shooty holes? <laughs> You can reach the tower from there. My gratitude for the direction spells. I'll see you soon. So does that mean that this, when we go and put it up here, will show us that very thing? Will it show us the moon? Or just the quantum tower? This is the quantum tower, yes. Yes, we recognize it. We recognize it. Okay. So if we head back down here and out here, there was a little route, a very sketchy little route. Mm -hmm. There's a little teleporter that goes up, but we do not want to go up. We wish to go down. Do we just jump? Not many other options. I can't see a way of changing that from here. So, we shall just not jump. We will very gently make our way down. That was all right. Another dead Namai. Some weird cube. A weird triangle. Just standing on the corpse. Not very PC. Don't desecrate bones of the dead if you can help it. So we don't want to jump into that. I'm trying to land on every available floor, just so we can have a little scout round and see if there's anything. So that leads down there. A couple of seats. Ooh, a little, uh... The Crossroads. This is another part of the cross. I'm going to head down there first, but this is the Crossroads. Um... Do I want to go down there? Or over there? Let's do this first. So I think I... Did I not land there? I thought I landed there. But I don't recall... It's untranslated. The Southern Observatory. Maybe I didn't know. I, I don't know. I really don't know. I can't remember. I thought I did, but maybe I'm a liar. Yeah, maybe. Maybe if, if it... Maybe it doesn't stay translated if you come to it on subsequent visits. That's the crossroads again, so that matches wherever else we were when we saw that. Have I been here? I don't know. Let's leave that there before we go fiddling. The shuttle is currently resting at the Quantum Moon. Yeah, I don't think I have been here before. Activate the gravity cannon. Call the shuttle home. A 
Oh, wow. Activate the gravity cannon. Have we just found a route to the quantum moon? That's huge. That is huge. I mean, I can't... Does it stop at some point? Okay, we'll just... I don't know how long that's going to take. So we're just going to move. I think before we go exploring any of these other two routes, either to the observatory or to the crossroads, which would eventually lead to the quantum tower, we believe. Although, bearing in mind the quantum tower is down there somewhere. Yeah, I think now that we've activated the gravity cannon, we can't unactivate it, so... Maybe we need to do something like activate it, then go in the black hole and find the shuttle there. I don't know. It could be could be an interesting little thing. So that said, the crossroads again, even though the crossroads were pretty much opposite to where we are now. But what's down here? I want to finish exploring this little... Oh, nothing. Okay, it's just, it's just death. It's just, it's just death. Excellent. I'm glad I checked. Ooh. What do you reckon? Do you reckon I can make that? Or do you reckon I can make it over there? Oh, I absolutely can. Awesome. I still can't do it. Oh, I can. Oh, okay. In that case. In that case, let's go to the shuttle. Let sod the observatory and the, the quantum tower. We have other more interesting things to look at. That sun's looking pretty, pretty big, isn't it? I doubt we've got closer, so you know what that means. That means a supernova is incoming. So this is our first working Namai space vehicle, which is fascinating. I am here after watching it wander the skies for so long and we're about to stand for the first time on the quantum moon. As expected, my shuttle has landed at the moon's south pole. I'll make the remainder of the journey on foot. We don't know why the quantum moon always welcomes its visitors to the south pole, just that it is true. As a child, I considered such unknown sinister. Now though I understand they bear no ill will, the universe is and we are. I am ready. What just happened? We've ended up in the white hole version of Brittle Hollow, is what just happened. I don't know how or why. Did the sun just explode? I also don't know what this does. What is going on? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay, that looks maybe familiar. So that always takes us. And this takes us where exactly? Where are we now? Just facing away from it. Are we journeying? Do we just let it go? I think we just let it go. We can't see anything, but that in itself isn't entirely unusual. There's nothing new on that. So do we just... I didn't mean to do that. I thought that was the one which didn't do anything. So this is... And this is confusing. So this is back at the cannon site. Right? No, this is... This is the broken Brittle Hollow. This takes us towards the white hole. We skim the edge... And then we keep going. So do we just let it keep going? Is that what we do?
I guess so. I am rapidly leaving the the known solar system. But I'm assuming that this will eventually you can't see the white hole from the from the back anymore, so it's doing What is this? Is this something? That looks like it's getting bigger, doesn't it? Yeah, we're pretty much out further than the interloper goes now. Or almost. Still really nothing for us to... I don't know. I don't know if this is supposed to be doing this. I don't know if it's just broken. I don't know. I mean, it's going somewhere, isn't it? Excuse me, if you heard that. I do apologise. I tried to keep it trapped, but <laughs> my head slipped out. Um, so we've come back in towards... So now we're just orbiting the sun? I don't know how long I'm supposed to leave it. Until the sun explodes, perhaps? There is a sound. There is a sound. What was the sound? Is that something? Is that just dark bramble? Why is the ship turning? Where are we going? Well, we're supposed to be going to the moon. But why would the moon not just be... around Brittle Hollow? Why would it be taking us... All the way over here. I think, yeah, I think that was dark bramble I could see out the back, so probably nothing to be too excited about. Unless dark bramble's the moon? No. That's the white hole station. I don't, I don't know, I don't want to... Well, there's dark bramble now. I don't want to touch this again in case it is taking us somewhere and we just break the route again. We have to start all over again. So I, I kind of just want to see it go and see if it goes anywhere. And if it doesn't, I guess the sun will explode soon and that will be that, right? Are we supposed to keep going until we see it? This, this quantum moon? Where is... Well, there's Brittle Hollow. So that's facing out into the nothingness, and this end tends to face in towards... Hmm. So the right one goes nowhere. What if we... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. We have been recording for a little while, so it is about time to stop. It would just be nice if this did something now that we found it, but maybe we just need to play around with it, maybe there's something on our ship's log, or maybe there's something we need to find deeper in Brittle Hollow before we can use this mysterious shuttle. Because that's Giant's Deep, right? Yeah. Oh, the interloper goes right around the broken Brittle Hollow, look. That's kind of interesting. I wonder if you do get on the interloper when it gets to its point where it goes, it goes through the sun. It can't go through the sun. It must go on. No, it goes through the sun. Is it the interloper that causes the sun to explode whenever it hits it? I don't know. Well, this I don't. I can't tell if this is going anywhere or if we're supposed to do something. So let's. We know the middle will take us back to the white hole. And that does nothing. Is that suggesting that it doesn't exist anymore? Are we supposed to use... I was going to say we're supposed to use the broken version, but we kind of did use the broken version. And that takes us... to the broken version of Brittle Hollow. Hmm. 
Very confused. Very confused. If we do it again, it just takes us back there. If we go over there, that takes us nowhere. If we go there, that shoots us forward past... Oh. It crashes the ship into uh, into some scenery which had managed to move and we die. Interesting. Interesting. So I think maybe... So we're going to leave that there next time. Obviously, we're, obviously, obviously we're going to go back to Brittle Hollow, because why wouldn't we go back to Brittle Hollow? But I think we'll head back to that same entrance point, that same location. We'll ignore the shuttle and we'll, we'll explore the observatory and the quantum tower. The quantum tower in particular might be the key to making that shuttle work. So that's what we're going to do next time. Very exciting. Very exciting. Oh, this game. Oh, this game. Right. Hope you enjoyed that. If you did, hit that like button. That would be awesome. Comment and subscribe. All those good things. Don't forget I stream every Wednesday at 7pm UK time. It would be wonderful to see you there to say hello. Otherwise, I will see you next time in uh, in Outer Wild. Almost forgot the name of the game. Do apologise. And also, of course, a massive thank you to Andy for gifting me the game. Hugely, hugely appreciated. Loving the game, as you might be able to tell. And as always, thank you very much for joining me.